Hi everyone, it's Sarah. I just thought I would check in and let y'all know what I've been doing for the past few months. Um, I've been attending some local conventions. I don't really get to go to many of the bigger conventions out there. I, I did get to go to Gen Con 50. Um, I am planning on going to Gary Con in 2019. I've signed up to run some events, so I'm super excited about that. But today I'm going to talk to you about some of the local conventions that I've been able to attend over the last few months. In fact, I attended three local conventions in as many months, um, starting in August. I went to Arkansas RPG Con, which is run by my brother and sister-in-law um, in, in Central Arkansas. This past year, it was in North Little Rock. Uh, the year before, I believe it was in Benton. Um, and um, I ran two games at Arkansas RPG Con. I ran a Mutant Crawl Classics game, and I ran a DCC game. Uh, the Mutant Crawl Classics game, my daughter's wanting to run Mutant Crawl Classics, so I kind of avoided the adventures that are kind of the lower level adventures that she might want to run for me and my husband and whoever else shows up for the games. And um, so I ended up going with the um mall mall from crawling under a broken moon i will go ahead and link that in the description as, as far as anything else any of the cons and stuff i mentioned i'll try to link those as well um but yeah i ran that it's a little bit different system so i had to, to finagle things a bit but um had a full table and everybody seemed to have a good time so yeah i gave that a shot and then the other game i ran was the 13th school for dungeon girl classics and it was the by far the highest level adventure I've ever ran. I believe it's a level four adventure. And this one, I had um, just my daughter and, and two of my nephews in that game, uh, which was fun. I don't get to run games for my nephews very often, so it was it was fun just to sit down at the table with the three of them and um, explore some of the, the fun things with upper level characters, such as some of the spells and mighty deeds and stuff like that. They, they seem to have a good time, so that was pretty awesome. The second con I went to was Spa Con in Hot Springs, and uh, it was it was a little bit of a different con than what I'm used to. It um it had gaming, but gaming was definitely um, not the main focus of the event. There was um, a bunch of miniature game tables set up. There were a couple of RPG rooms, and there was board gaming. But really, the big draw of this event was the vendor hall and cosplay and some kind of, you know, chance to meet um, some actors of of film and TV. Um, so, so that was kind of the main thing. And then, you know, kind of secondary was the gaming. Um, and in fact, I signed up to run two games. I, I signed up to run Fiasco and I signed up to run a Dungeon Crawl Classics game and neither of them took. So, um, yeah, I um, actually, one of the highlights was though that I got to to kind of hang out with Brendan LaSalle. He was there as a as a special guest. So um, my husband, my daughter, and I signed up for his Friday night game. And then both of my games I was supposed to run were on Saturday. Fiasco, like I said, didn't take. So um, it ended up just being me and Brendan talking for a couple of hours about gaming and DCC and, and stuff like that. Um, a little bit of x crawl because he's got that coming up um, sometime next year probably. Um, and... I've never run x -Crawl. I've got like a couple of the modules and I'd, I'd like to try it at some point. So, you know, it was kind of fun just kind of getting a little bit of the background of that. And then um, my second game was supposed to be my DCC game. And I had one guy show up at my table. I knew Brendan was running a game at the same time. So I um, introduced the two of them and decided to just sit in on that game. My husband and daughter had already signed up for that game as well. So um, it just worked out. He just had a huge table and um, we... He ran um, Neon Knights, which was one that I had been interested in. I don't own the module, so it was kind of fun to run through that. Um, yeah, that was Spa Con. Um, this, the third con, um, which is NEA Game Fest, is actually one that my local gaming group, NEA Gamers Guild, which I've talked about in a previous video, uh, runs um, in the fall. This was our second year uh, as well. So, um, and this is an Omnicon. We, we, um, kind of delve into a little bit of everything. Um, the only Goodman Games game on the table was actually in Dinosaur Crawl Classics Friday Night, which was, um, that's in the 2017 Gen Con Program Guide. 
So, yeah, I mean, I had a full table. In fact, even after my table was full, my husband came up and asked if he could join. We had fun playing Velociraptors and <laughs> everybody, everybody seemed to have a, a really good time. Um, it's fun doing something a little bit different. I like, I like using these conventions as an excuse to, to kind of go outside my comfort zone a little bit. And in fact, Dinosaur Crawl Classics is one of the games that I have signed up to run at Gary Con. So, um, if you're there, check it out. Um, it'll be, it'll be a blast, hopefully. Um, basically the reason I'm shooting this video is because I want to encourage you if you're not able to go some of the bigger cons or even if you are check out some of your local cons too because you never know what you might find there um you might not find DCC but you might be able to run DCC or you might find another game that you enjoy playing so yeah just a little quick update on what I've been doing hopefully my next video won't be quite as long coming out hope to see you soon bye